So do you want to implement AutoMapper in your project? So this is the right place in next five minutes in simple five steps. I will tell you how to implement AutoMapper. So step one is we need to add a NuGet package manager in our project for AutoMapper. So let's go to NuGet package manager, package manager solutions. And let's search for auto mapper and this one we are going to use auto mapper extension for asp.net core let's select our project and click on install and now let's verify our installation so double click on project and we can see that auto mapper has installed successfully and we are done with the step one now step two is to we need to define auto mapper so i am on dotnet 6 so i am defining it in the program.cs file if you are on the dotnet core previous version so you may need to define that in the startup.cs file but it would be same process only so here i am going to say like builder dot services dot add auto mapper and here i am going to say like app domain dot current domain dot get assemblies so this is our step two so in step three i am going to create a class for mapping so i already have this model class but i am going to create one more class for uh, for the mapping so i let me create one folder here i'm giving name as a dto's and under dto's i'm creating a class employee again I'm creating a class employee. And let me copy and paste same content for now on this class as well. We will change it later, but for now let's keep it same. So we are done with the step three. So step four is uh, creating a mapping profile. So for that, let me create one more folder. And I am giving name as a profiles. And under that, let's create one class. And let's give them a name maybe custom profile. And we need to inherit this class with the profile class which is under auto mapper namespace. So profile and we can see that it is under auto mapper. And our mapping we can define in the constructor of this class so let's create a constructor first and here i am going to define mapping i am going to creating uh, i am going to create a mapping so let's create map and here we can define source and destination so for example, maybe I will say source is my our model, which is I'm getting from database and destination is our DTOs, which I'm going to return to the user. So I will say models dot employee is my source and DTOs dot employee is my destination and I will say reverse so 
for example when we are saving it we, we i want to map it reversely right so because of that i'm adding reverse map also so we are done with the step four now last and final step five is use this configuration so let me open our employees controller and first i need to inject the mapper object here so it is i mapper under the auto mapper namespace i will say it as a mapper and let's create a read only property for this field for this and now here we can see that we are returning uh, the models employee but uh, we want to return the details employee so let me remove this using a statement first and now let's add details using a statement so now this class is from DTOs and that is the reason we are getting this casting error so now let's change this to variable result equals to this and now I am going to use this mapper object to map this models dot employee list to DTOs dot employee list so I will say like mapper dot map and here I need to tell the destination so destination is my DTOs dot imply so maybe I will say DTOs dot employee and it should be list of and my destination will be result right and let's return this yeah so we are done with the step 5 and we have successfully converted our model employees to DTOs employee so let's verify this let me run this and let's see the response through swagger and we are getting the response as expected but this is a simple case now let me go back and let's make few changes in our DTOs so let me stop this and what if I don't want first name last name and I want full name here so let me remove this last name here and what if my models and DTOs property name is not same maybe there I am having date of per DOB but here I am having a full form as a date of birth so how we are going to make these changes let's try to understand so if your property name is not same then also it is very easy with auto mapper just go back to your profile where you have defined your mapping so here we have defined like uh, map this employees models dot employees with dtos dot employees here i need to explicitly define the mapping for the properties which is not similar so let's say for member here I will say my destination member for example full name so full name what I want is I want full name as a first name plus last name right so let's do that I need to map from and here I need to define the source map from the source 
So souls is first name and I will say this and then as well C dot last name. So we have defined first name plus last name equals to full name for our full name property. Let's define for date of birth. So here in the DTOs it is date of birth but in the model it is DOB. So let's define that. And uh, let's check what else we have. Yeah, apart from that, other fields are same only, right? So let's go back and save this and let me run and verify if we are getting our full name and date of birth correctly or not. So let me expand this. And uh, here we can see that uh, that Swagger has updated with the full name and date of birth. Now let's try it out and let's click on execute and great now we are getting full name as expected and we are getting the correct date of birth also. So